Yo, yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. This will be for the sun, moon rising of Scorpio. So let's get to it. So, angels, what's the message for Scorpio at this time? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So, the first card that came out is Overload. So, somebody is feeling very obligated, y'all. Okay? And they feel obligated to causing you suffering. And it's because you got some type of victory and success. <laughs> somebody working overtime. Okay? They working overtime to cause you some type of suffering. Yeah. I'm saying that somebody could be, you know, praying on you. This could be a religious person. I really feel as though this could be religious based. This could be the reason. Because of some some religious shit. It's really behind some type of religious shit. This is why somebody created all of this. I really feel as though somebody could be fixed. Because when I see religion, it's like... This is somebody that's like fixed. They're fixed on whatever they believe, okay? And it's, it's like, I guess these used to be your friends, okay? These friends are suffering now. And it's because of some type of conflict they caused. A couple or they caused in a marriage. When I see marriage, this could be like a long relationship. A relationship that you could have been in for like five or seven years, okay? Or well, this could be somebody that you actually married to. But I really feel as though these friends work very hard to prey on you. To make you feel as though you were going through some type of darkness or suffering. And they created this conflict. So let's see what's going on. Why is overload here? Let's go here. Like I said, somebody feel got obligated. These friends, they feel obligated. But with the eight of cups, they're going to have to walk away. Six of wands. Because you are the victor. You. You are the victor. World card. And it's because you close out a karmic cycle. And you stepped into this empress energy. I'm also hearing that you are the empress. Okay. You are very creative. Nurturing. Compassionate. People come to you. You feel me? That's why, why is libation here? Four of wands. Yeah, somebody tried to play... Somebody literally tried to play with your home, your foundation, your stability. Okay? Somebody thought you was naive with the fool card. Eight of Pentacles. So somebody thought you was a fool. But with the Eight of Pentacles, you were somebody who actually worked in your face. Like, yo. <laughs> I just heard somebody thought that you were slow. Somebody thought you was slow. They thought you was just going to walk your ass off a fucking hill. That's how slow they thought you was. But if you notice, we got the food to the Eight of Pentacles. So this could be a reader, bro. This is really giving... You could be dealing with a reader like yourself, bro. Why is Origin here? What did I just tell you? You could be a reader. This was a reader. Who created this shit? Somebody that's in your past. This can also be a Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah. Somebody created this because they wanted to defeat you. Like I said, you either let this let this person know that you listen to your third eyes. This person knows something about you. They know that you listen to your intuition. They know something. This person, this past person that know that you read tarot or know that you listen to your intuition. This is the person who tried to betray you. This is the person who tried to like utterly defeat you. We're trying to cause you an ending. Yeah, in the tower. Yeah, that's how foolish they thought they, that you were. Remember I told you they thought you was going to walk yourself off the cliff. They thought you was just going, you know. Mm -hmm. A knight of cups, ten of swords, this could have been a Pisces. That betrays you. Mm -hmm. Him and his ex, her and her ex. Yeah, page of swords and they was spying. Five of wands trying to see if some type of conflict worked. Knight of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who was out of control. Out this bush billion. Yeah. We got bullies here. But the Ten of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles, this is a family who worked together to bully somebody. They created all this conflict and was spying to see if it worked. Mm -mm -mm. All because somebody was a high priestess. Yeah. Why is friends here? These friends are being exposed. And they're going to have to walk away because they lost. 
There's also a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag, who's closing out a karmic cycle, and that's the truth. King of Swords, I'm saying that there's a King of Swords and a King of Cups that's feeling weighed down because they're under judgment. After coming up with this plan, this was a selfish ass plan that somebody was waiting to see happen. And now with the Nine of Wands, it's like somebody could be taking time out to heal because they did some type of magic over some partnership. They was heavily invested and sabotaged their goddamn self with an ending. Yeah, this, this could have been somebody who lost their home, who lost everything. Whatever they was doing with some magic, they sabotaged their self. It's like it backfired on them. It's like, say like somebody did some cordial magic and they hand, and they hand was like, they had this long ass jacket on, the jacket caught on fire. It was some type shit like that. Like they, they put their own stuff up doing this magic, you know? Why is nightmare here? Yeah, with higher thing. Somebody could be scared here. Cause somebody came up with a plan, but it was impulsive with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I'm so like, there's a Queen of Swords that's laying something to rest. This is a third party who was painting some type of picture to a lover here. So this could be a Gemini. Yeah, cause they was heartbroken. But then this person is feeling guilty and ashamed to what they did to like a couple. Yeah, cause they betrayed this couple. Thinking that they was gonna get some type of karmic justice. Taking something or stealing something from someone. Hmm. Why is conflict here? Yeah, somebody caused this conflict, like I said, because you was getting victory and fucking success. Four of Cups, this person missed the opportunity. Eight of Cups, they're going to have to walk away. Like I said, a Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, because they're weighing their self down. By whatever action they're taking here, they already missed the opportunity to get victory and success over you, a tourist. They're going to have to walk away. This Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, the King of Pentacles came out. Yeah, that's a tourist. It was in their fucking ego. Now they're stuck in the middle. Weighed the fuck down because they took up impulsive ass action. And it's because you could have cut them off with the Queen of Swords. So somebody is mad that you cut them off. So they came out to you. And it's like, you cut them off. Yeah, they scratched out after bullying you. Because bullying you is what got them rejected. Because you was a sweetheart. It's like somebody purposely became your enemy. Was wearing a mask and everything. Now they're getting fucking karma. They thought it was a good idea, though. Mm-hmm. They thought it was a good idea, though. I'm saying that your self-love energy got you at home. Your self-love energy. Yeah, you being independent, self-healing, and self-concerned is how you got this real estate. And somebody is in danger now because they came up with some idea and then they're getting fucking karma. For trying to wear a mask, being your third world enemy, knowing that you was a sweetheart. This person tried to reject you by bullying you. Now they stressed out these friends because they caused conflict and they the only ones suffering. Yeah, tried to cause all this conflict and they the only ones motherfucking suffering because you lived and learned. Yeah, you are the successful one. They going to keep telling you that. Like, you did something with ease. You did something with ease. And somebody was mad. Yeah, motherfuckers need your help now because they lost. And somebody could be locked up or homeless. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what's going on. 